This past Friday, the Archdiocese of Vancouver announced its pastoral appointments that will be effective the middle of August. Think of it as the Catholic Church's version of the NHL trade deadline. Well, I was blessed to spend some time talking with the newest pastor in our Archdiocese, so I hope you enjoy this chat with Father Mark McGuckin. We are here with our newest pastor in the Archdiocese of Vancouver. He is moving from St. Mary's in Chilliwack over to St. Joseph Parish in Port Moody, and we want to congratulate him and see how he's feeling right now. Please welcome Father Mark McGuckin. Father Mark, thank you for joining us tonight. Hello, everyone. Good to be with you, Clay, as always, man. I appreciate it. Now, t Father Mark, walk us through. Tell us about the emotions you felt when you first heard the news that you would be indeed the newest pastor in the Archdiocese of Vancouver. <laughs> Mixed emotions, man. Uh, didn't, uh, yeah, didn't, ex didn't expect it. Uh, uh, I'm here at St. Mary's in Chilliwack, and I really love it out here, out in the East Valley. Um, so sad to leave St. Mary's, but also excited for a new chapter on this pilgrim journey of life that we're on. And uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Well, I know you're going to bring a lot to that community, given that I was able to, I was blessed to spend some time with you when you were at St. Paul in Richmond with, with me. So talk about some of the things that you can bring to St. Joseph Parish. What are some of your qualities? What are you looking forward to doing? You know, I'm just going to take it one day at a time. You know, just get, jump over the boards, get the blades on the ice, just work the legs, get in the corners. If need be, got to grind in the corners. Uh, so there's a lot of hockey analogies there that don't uh, maybe make a lot of sense, but but they, they, they do to me, so that's what matters. Sense. Yeah, they make like sense that. to me, and this is my video, and it's our video, so we can say whatever we want. Now, we, you, <laughs> let's go on with that hockey analogy. I know a lot of good qualities of you, Father Mark. For instance, you have great hands. I, I know the way that you can flip through the Roman Missal. I know the way that you can clean those vessels. What are some other, um, uh, show us how good your hands are. A lot of gestures during, mm -hmm. especially the, you know, our sacred liturgy, you're gonna have that hands Fold in the prayer position. It's got to be just right, not too rigid, and not too, you know, yeah. uh, droopy. <laughs> you got to be, you know, just a firm uh, prayer yeah. position. You have to exude confidence when you're praying. Oh, you know, you just say it comes. Yeah. yeah, you don't overthink it, but it's there. It's proper liturgical pacing. Mm -hmm. uh, Eucharistic prayer, hands out on a good length. Blessing, the blessing mm. gesture. Yeah, you know, you want to do a forty-five degree. You That's know, right. you don't want to, you're not going to do either the, you know, 90 or 180. Yeah. You know, so it's, uh, you know, a lot of just um, of details. You, yeah. you got to get and, right. And I know you have a great range of motion when you do the sign of the cross. I noticed that one as well. Yeah, you just got to, you can't, you can't just kind of no. do the small. You got to, you got to mean it. You don't have to, and you can't just race through it. No, not at all. Got to go in the name of the Father and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Right. Uh, man, our shortest prayer, but powerful prayer to do it right. Well, now I can see why you're such a highly, uh, you know, touted and recruited, um, <laughs> you know, prospect. So that's good. Another uh, a great ability and great characteristic you have is your agility. I've seen the way that you've maneuvered around the altar, around altar servers, maybe a celebrating priest. Talk about the importance of, of having good agility as a priest, as a pastor. Well, I'm not a speedster. No. You know? Not I'm at no all. Pa I'm, not, I'm no Pavel Bure. No. You're more okay. like a Dave Babbage. But. Dave Babbage without the mustache, yeah. <laughs> but with, uh, with the veteran savvy. Yeah. I'd like to say maybe like a Dana Merzen as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, you got to you gotta have enter into the liturgical pacing, mm -hmm. make efficient moves, yes. don't wander around, don't <laughs> go too fast, not too slow. And so, um, yeah, a lot of just uh, things to think about, but it, it comes pretty uh, naturally now, you know? Yeah, and I think one thing that you prove, Father Mark, is you don't have to be the fastest A to B mover because no one's going to call you the fastest A to B mover, but you do have great efficiency of movement. You, you, you know how to take those corners or to cut those angles or just to get to where you need to go efficiently. Yeah, I will take all of those compliments and yeah. store them because... Um, I think they aptly describe my liturgical style. And uh... <laughs> so, so a third attribute, we have, you have great hands, you have good agility, you, yeah. have, you have outstanding vision. Like I've seen the way that you, you know what's going on in the church. Your, your eyes are always darting, yet you're focused. Like uh, 
and we'll talk about focus in a second, but talk about general vision. You have to know what's going on in your parish. You got to know. You got to know. You have to have uh, eyes, see what's going on. Altar servers, lectors, people in the congregation. Yeah. yeah. What's the choir doing? Is the yeah. choir on track? Am I on track? Mm-hmm. And, and, so, and a simple thing of, you know, when we get back to the parish, is a simple thing of knowing when to stand up to go down to the front to receive the gifts, right? You can't, you can't go too fast. Like, if you're not paying attention, you're going to be standing man. there forever. You know what? Yeah, you got to have the offertory hymn. It's yeah. got to be at a good length. Usher's got to mobilize those bringing up the gifts. You got to, if they're, you know, you, you get up too early, then you're waiting up there. Mm-hmm. You know, you got to find that right pace as those bring up the gifts are walking up, get up to receive. So uh, timing, timing's huge. Timing is huge. And one more thing, Father Mark, the one thing that I admire about you above all else is your focus. You are honed in, you are zoned in. You know what's going on at every moment during mass. Well, you know, What's important when we say focus, you know, during the homily is when a priest is preaching, uh, there can be distractions. Mm -hmm. And so it could be babies crying, could be Japanese paper fans waving, it could be people getting up. Could be a Japanese baby crying. Uh, I don't want to bring race into this uh, (laughs) discussion. Um, (laughs) I get focus, general focus to not get distracted. It's a big... um, it's, it's important. You know, a lot can happen during that time, during the gospel, when you're preaching, to stay on track, on course, to engage, no matter what's flying in. Yeah. At St. Paul's, we had a cat. Literally, we did. We had a neighborhood cat walk up the main aisle mm. like a bride or groom on a wedding day. <laughs> and we have to keep going. You yep. know, uh, nothing stops for the liturgy. We just keep going. You need that, uh, you need that focus to make it through. That's awesome, Father Mark. So I think all the viewers will, can see, they can clearly see why you are such a good fit, why you're, you're going to be such a good pastor. You have good hands, you have good agility, <laughs> you have a outstanding vision, and you have laser focus, yet all done with a smile, all done with hospitality, all done with a generous spirit. In all seriousness, Father Mark, I am so happy for you knowing you since your ordination, and you're celebrating an ordination this week, an anniversary this week, aren't you? That's right. Yeah, on the 14th, it's the um, four-year anniversary of myself and Father Lucio Choi. We're, we're ordained together, yeah. May 14th, 2016. And so, uh, yeah, time has just flown by, man. Well, that's So it's been four years and Father Lucio still hasn't come over to the good side yet, huh? We're working on him. Okay. Uh, we have uh, ways of persuasion. Yep. Uh, you know, we're going to even reach back to the medieval ages, uh, <laughs> medieval times. I'm not going to get into details, but... Uh, no, that's for another vlog, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but he'll come over eventually, you know. Yeah. We're, we're, we're working on him. He's a good man. He is a good man. Yeah, he's going to do uh, the right thing. He's going to do the right thing. Yeah. Father Lucio, do the right thing. So, Father Mark, in all seriousness, uh, congratulations. I am very proud of you. I know many people that know you are very proud of you. We'll be praying for you during this transition time. And we pray for all the pastors, all the priests that will be making moves over the next few months. It's a crazy time in our diocese, but we know that the church never stops. And we know that our faith never stops. And that's what keeps us going through the best and the worst of times. So one, I have to do one shout out. Can I do one shout out? Of course you can. Of um, a man who was at my, both my baptism and my ordination, my godfather, Joe Borovich. And for those of you who don't know, Joe designed the original Canuck emblem, stick, stick in the rink. Yes. Shout out to Joe. He's a parishioner of Holy Trinities on, uh, in North, on the North Shore. And so if you can keep Joe and, and Gene, his wife, in your prayers. And me, I, and you are in my prayers, Clay, and your family, and all those tuning in. Thank you, Father Mark. That's awesome. And a shout out to Joe. Very nice man. And yes, a legend in Canuck circles as well. Looking forward to you being a legend at St. Joseph's Parish in Port Moody. Thanks again, Father Mark. (laughs) God bless, brother. You too. Thank you.